Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 6.4 Use Tangent and Chord Properties. 6.4 represents Chapter 6, Section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. A tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point of intersection. So here's a diagram. We've got a circle and we've got that the tangent meets the radius at 90 degrees. The perpendicular bisector of a chord will go through the centre of the circle. So in this diagram, we've got a circle, we've got a chord, the perpendicular bisector bisects the chord into two equal parts, meets the chord at 90 degrees and passes through the centre of the circle. We're going to use these key facts to answer two exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. The circle C has the equation x minus two in bracket squared plus y minus six in bracket squared equal to 100. Part A, verify that the point P 10 0 lies on C. Part B, find an equation of the tangent to C at the point 10, 0, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to 0. Let's have a look at part A. Firstly, I've got my coordinate P, 10, 0. So X is equal to 10, Y is equal to 0. I'm going to substitute X equal 10 and Y equal 0 into the left-hand side of this equation. So shorthand LHS, left-hand side, is equal to open bracket 10 minus 2 close bracket squared plus open bracket 0 minus 6 close bracket squared. So over here we've got 10 take away 2 which is 8, 8 squared is 64 plus 0 minus 6 is minus 6. If I take minus 6 and square it I get 36. Adding these two numbers together gives me 100 which is precisely the right hand side, shorthand RHS. Therefore, the point P, 10, 0, lies on the circle C. Part B, find an equation of the tangent to C at the point 10, 0, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to 0. So I'm going to draw a diagram. I've got a circle. The circle has a centre of 2 and 6 and the point 10, 0 will be roughly over here. This is my radius. I want to work out the equation of the tangent to the circle C at the point 10, 0. So my tangent looks something like this. This is my tangent. Now we know that the tangent meets the radius at 90 degrees. To find the equation of the tangent, I need the gradient of the tangent. To find the gradient of the tangent, I need the gradient between these two coordinates. So we're going to first of all work out the gradient of the line between 2, 6 and 10, 0. So we have to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I use this formula, I have 0 minus 6 all over 10 minus 2. So this gives me minus 6 over 8. And if I simplify this, I get minus 3 over 4. Okay, so that there is the gradient of the line connecting the points 2, 6 and 10, 0. The gradient of the tangent will be the negative reciprocal of this because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So my gradient m is equal to the negative reciprocal of minus 3 over 4. This is 4 over 3. So I've got the gradient and I've got the point that the tangent passes through which is 10, 0. I can label this coordinate x1, y1. Now to find the equation of the tangent to the circle C at the point 10, 0, I need to use y minus y1 equal m multiplied by x minus x1 in brackets. So I carry out my substitution. I've got y minus 0 equal to 4 over 3, open bracket, x minus 10, close bracket. So the left hand side is just y equal the right hand side if I expand the bracket, I get 4 over 3x minus 40 over 3. This is the form y equal mx plus c. 
in the question, I need the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero. So now I take everything to the left-hand side. This gives me minus four over three x plus y uh, plus 40 over three equal to zero. That there's the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero, where a, b, and c are constants. It doesn't say in the question that a, b, and c are integers. So we can leave it in this particular form. We don't have to multiply the whole equation by three. So that there is my answer. Now, an equivalent answer uh, would be achieved by taking everything to the right-hand side. So the equivalent answer uh, would be four over three x minus y minus 40 over three equal to zero. Equivalent answer. So ladies and gents, that there completes exam style question one. Here is exam style question two. The point R and S lie on a circle with center C with coordinate A minus two as shown in the diagram. The coordinate of R is two, three and the coordinate of S is 10, one. M is the midpoint of the line segment RS. The line L passes through M and C. Part A, find an equation for L. So we need two things for L. We need the gradient of L and we also need the coordinate of M that L passes through. We can't use the coordinate C because A is an unknown. First of all, to find the gradient of L, we need to work out the gradient of the chord which connects the points R and S. So gradient of the chord connecting the coordinates R, 2, 3 and S, 10, 1. So we're going to be using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I've got 1 minus 3 over 10 minus 2. So that there, ladies and gents, is minus 2 over 8, which simplifies to minus 1 over 4. So minus 1 over 4 is the gradient of the chord connecting the coordinates R and S. Now, since L is the perpendicular bisector of the chord, the gradient of L has to be the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 4. Okay, so gradient of L, we can call it M, is equal to 4, the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 4. So that is my gradient. We know that L passes through M, that is capital M. We want the coordinates of capital M, which is the midpoint between R and S. So we do 2 plus 10, which is 12, divide by 2, that's 6. That's my x coordinate. Then we do 3 plus 1, which is 4, divide by 2, that is 2. That is my y coordinate. I can label this as x1, y1. Now to find the equation for L, we can use y minus y1 equal m in bracket x minus x1. Now we carry out our substitution. I can substitute my values in. I've got y minus 2 equal to 4 in bracket x minus 6. So if I expand the right hand side, I get the following result. 4x minus 24. Take the minus 2 to the right hand side. This gives me y equal to 4x minus 22. So that there ladies and gents is the equation for L. This completes part A of the question. Let's have a look at part B. Find the value of A. A is the x coordinate for C. C is the coordinate of the center of the circle. The line L passes through M and C. So the coordinate for C lies on L. We also know that the perpendicular bisector of any chord will go through the center of the circle. Anyways, we have that the coordinate C, which is A, minus two lies on the line L. This implies that when X is equal to A, Y is equal to minus two. We can substitute this into the equation for L. So we have that minus two is equal to four lots of A minus 22. We can rearrange now to work out A. So I've got four A is equal to 20, 
This implies that a is equal to 5. Therefore, a is equal to 5. And that, there, ladies and gents, completes part B of the question. OK, moving on to the final part of exam style question 2. Part C, find the equation of the circle. Right, so I'm going to substitute the centre, which is C, 5 minus 2, into the equation of a circle. So we've got open bracket x minus 5, close bracket squared, plus open bracket y, plus 2, close bracket squared, equal to r squared. We want to work out the radius of the circle. Now we can substitute the coordinates for r or s into the equation of the circle, rearrange, work out r. So I'm going to take the coordinates for r, for example. We can always use the coordinate for s, but let's just take r. So for r, we know that the coordinate is 2, 3. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, I can substitute this into the equation of a circle. So if I substitute, I get open bracket 2 minus 5 close bracket squared plus open bracket 3 plus 2 close bracket squared equal to r squared. So 2 minus 5 is minus 3 and minus 3 squared is 9. Plus 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 squared is 25 equal r squared. Now 25 plus 9 is 34. So we have that 34 is equal to r squared. r is a radius, it's a length, so we take the positive square root and we get r is equal to square root of 34. We've got the radius. Now we can write down the complete equation of the circle. So equation of the circle will therefore be open bracket x minus 5 close bracket squared plus open bracket y plus 2 close bracket squared equal to square root 34 in bracket squared or we could just write 34 so that there is the equation of the circle and ladies and gents that completes part c of the question and exam style question 2 if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on the notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post teaching videos